welcome back to Consumer Update. I'm Kelly Lightborn. With more than 6,000 medical professionals across five counties, Bayfront Health, formerly known as Bayfront Medical Center, has been treating patients of all ages since 1906. Here to tell us more is Dr. Ajoy Kumar, who is currently serves as the chair of the Department of Family Medicine at Bayfront St. Petersburg. Correct, Kelly. Okay, so tell me what Bayfront Health is. So Bayfront Health is a system of seven hospitals. Okay. It spans all the way to Brooksville up north, all the way to Punta Gorda down okay. south, and out east, it's Dade City. But we are the central hub and spoke model. Bayfront Health is the only level two trauma center in all of St. Petersburg and Pinellas County. But just because we're the only level two trauma center that handles both pediatrics mm -hmm. and adults within the county, we actually cover roughly 13 to 15 wide region area through Bay, Fl Bay Flight Services. Wow, well, I, I'm still on the, the length of, or, or amount of area right. that you serve. Correct. Um, I remember reading like 150 mile stretch. Absolutely, I mean we, we cover a lot of land, a lot of folks that depend on their medical services mm -hmm. do come to Bayfront through our health system. And it's not just within the state of Florida. We've had people that come from overseas that showed up at Bayfront that we take care of, and they've received the finest of care within the United States. This is like, because you have great, you know, obviously your reputation is phenomenal Absolutely. for that to happen. Absolutely. We have um, cardiovascular services okay. that include cardiothoracic surgery. We have neurological services. We also have trauma services and orthopedic services. And plus we have a robust primary care service mm -hmm. um, that handles not only just primary care of adults, but also infants yeah. and adolescents. Lessons, and we have a good sports mo sports medicine program yeah, you too. you know you have a NICU. I mean, Absolutely. And you don't really, you know, it's kind of one-stop shopping, which is great. That's correct. And and with most trauma centers, they are uh, designated to handle all those um, ages of life and and the levels of care too. So at Bayfront, we really pride ourselves in handling just about everything. Well, and you know you're in great hands because if if one doctor that's not the expert, they're going to refer you. They know Absolutely. who to refer you to. Absolutely. And I and I tell you part of the training that occurs at Bayfront because mm -hmm. we are also a teaching center for not only medical subspecialties and medical specialties, mm -hmm. but also for um, nursing too. Uh, we train our folks to get to know all the doctors around. So if I'm referring patients to another physician, I know who that physician is. I could pick up and call them on the phone mm -hmm. and say, hey, I have this patient so-and-so with this health condition. Um, I'm gonna send them to you. And they will often ask me a lot of questions related to that patient. Mm -hmm. That means less time and more information that gets to them. Right. So that speeds the process of care. And I'll tell you, as a patient, um, you don't want to necessarily be referred to somebody that your doctor doesn't so necessarily no. know. Right. You know, it makes you very uncomfortable going to a lot of those folks. So we try to bring that level of comfort when we refer patients to other physicians within the system. No, that's that's amazing because I, I know as a patient it gets frustrating. We're Absolutely. like, the doctor doesn't know my background. And right. this is guaranteed because you're kind of, you are part of the same family. Yes. So it's a lot easier to pick up the phone. And, and, and that's one of the things that you will see as healthcare systems go down the road mm -hmm. and definitely Bayfront is absolutely working on is developing that coordinated care regardless of where you're at, whether you're in Brooksville, whether you're in Punta Gorda, whether you're in Dade City, all you have to do is pick up the phone. If, if you need to be transferred from that facility, we'll transfer you through Bayflight to our hospital and give you the next level of care that is required. And you have several, um, I, I think three helicopters? Three correct? Bayflight yeah, helicopters, which, which absolutely. Huge. Yeah, and not a, lot of, not a lot of trauma systems have that kind of access mm -hmm. in order to be able to move one patient from one part of a region to the main hub. Right, well, let's talk heart health. Okay. How about Absolutely. we do that? Um, tell me, I mean, I know there's a lot of um, myths or misconceptions about you know, um, males and females, and let's just dig right into that. Cause sure, I found absolutely. It fascinating. Uh, well, heart disease is the number one killer of um, males and females. Mm -hmm. Heart disease, um, strokes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease altogether is a major issue within the country and also in the world. Um, in terms of men's health and women's health, well, there's differences. And mm -hmm. the reason why there's differences, well, physiologies are different too. Right. Um, most men tend to get heart attacks earlier in life. Women don't necessarily get that. But interestingly enough, a lot of the studies that have been done mm -hmm. regarding cardiovascular care have been done primarily on men. So not much has been focused no, on women. This is why we want to emphasize that women get cardiovascular screening earlier. You know, women 
pretty much drive the household. Yeah, because you think of it as a man's disease, and that's why I wanted to ask it's you because not a man's I, disease. yeah, because when I was reading that, I was like, oh wow, I just never even thought. Like I know my husband deals with issues, but mm -hmm. I just never even thought about myself. It's kind of like one of those things you go, oh, it's not gonna happen to me. Well, I mean, I, I think that's a general feeling. I think with most women is that they handle so much in their lives <laughs> that they tend to forget themselves, uh -huh. right? And I think it's all the more reason why women need to go out and get that screening for the cardiovascular diseases. That is the number one cause for their demise too. Mm -hmm. Now, how, how important is like early detection? Oh can't be said enough, um, early detection, early screening leads to earlier diagnosis equals mm -hmm. earlier treatments. And okay. as time goes on, the longer it takes for you to diagnose and treat, mm -hmm. not only do you, are you much sicker, but also the cost of care increase pretty significantly. And okay. not just the cost of care, but also the time to rehab from that care okay. takes a big chunk out of your life. Okay, so what are some of the, the symptoms that we should look for? Okay, uh, most men and women do have symptoms of nausea, a little bit of vomiting, chest pain, substernal, that uh -huh. could be radiating to their neck or to their arms. Women, it's different. They don't necessarily have those perfect kind of symptoms that men would with the chest mm -hmm. pain going to the neck, to the arm. Oftentimes they can be fatigued. Oftentimes they can just feel a little bit nauseous. Um, they may not be able to walk as much. They may not be able to lift up their computer. They may not be able to do their daily activities as well. And when we talk about women, we talk from the category from anyone, in my view, mm -hmm. over the age 40. Because this day, in, this day in time, there's a lot of stress, bad diets going mm -hmm. around. So we're starting to see a lot of things happen earlier in life. Now, as a female, yes. um, I, I mean, what, what I'm hearing is that, that it doesn't, matter every person is different it's kind of what i'm what different. i'm feeling yes is that absolutely correct? everybody's different nobody fits under one broad category of things each okay. person's individual and the and the reason why is because the way you grew up the foods you ate the lifestyle that you live was different from myself or from anybody else including my sister my mom they're all different uh, the levels of stress that you face today as an anchor is very different from mm -hmm. a level of stress, somebody that's a female and that's a CEO versus somebody that's a stay at home mom who's teaching your kids at home. Right. You know, so the factors are, are different. There are certain markers that are pretty much the same across the board, but lifestyle makes a big, big difference. And, and by going out and getting these cardiovascular mm -hmm. screenings, you're actually taking um, a lot of um, opportunity to improve your own health care. And it really starts off with mom. Well, speaking of improving your own health care, what are the two things that you want my, my viewers that are watching right now to know? Because it can save their lives. Right. I think one of the biggest things that you can do as a viewer is take control of your health care by going and talking to your primary care physicians. If you don't have one, well, we're Bayfront. We have lots of primary care physicians. Come see us. The second thing that you can do is change your lifestyle. Go get the screenings. Go get your cholesterol checked. Go get your mammograms. Go get... Um, other blood work done and imaging done, especially if your doctor says that you need those kind of things. Mm -hmm. I don't think women do enough of that kind of stuff. Yeah, we take care of the family. and Take care of the family and, and you, not you forget yourselves. But, okay, and what's the website they can go to? Bayfront.com. That's easy, bayfront.com. Great. Thank you. A lot of great information today. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank today. you very much for having us. Great. Don't go away. There's more Consumer Update when we come back.